happened to me today? You never will. Not in a million years. So I suppose I'll have to talk about something else. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll tell you anyway. I had the wrong newspaper delivered. It was this morning. See, normally, I get smash hits, right? But today... I do, I've been there. <laughs> today, they sent me the record mirror. It's amazing the things that happen, isn't it? <laughs> I expect the next thing to happen be, to be something like... They'll give me a bottle of Vimto instead of a bottle of milk or something like that. <laughs> we really crackers like that. Tell you what, that'd make your cornflakes taste a bit, uh, vimto -y, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, uh, unless you was having Cocoa Pops or something like that. <laughs> boiled eggs. <laughs> well, your boiled eggs ain't much like Cocoa Pops, aren't they? <laughs> well, they're rounder, really, and more eggy-like, you know. <laughs> and you don't get chickens out of Cocoa Pops. <laughs> Not unless you're hallucinating or something like that. <laughs> anyway, it's never happened to me. But the nearest thing to it that has happened, right, is that I once met a bloke who claimed to be a milkman. But that's not much like it at all. He <laughs> could have been lying anyway. But people do. I mean, like, I had my legs amputated yesterday. <laughs> and that's a lie. <laughs> it's quite a good lie, actually. <laughs> Probably made quite a lot of money with that lie. I could do with quite a lot of money. But I spent all mine on an ice cream, you see. See, because, like, about half an hour ago before this, I was hanging around because I had about half an hour to kill, right? And I thought, I can either go up to the bar and get a few drinks down me, you know. But I thought, no, nah, I'm always doing that, you know, and it takes ages to get my anorak dry again. It's just a waste of time, really. Now, besides which, I'm trying to avoid the Redditch sunrises, you know. That's this drink I've invented. It's a cocktail, actually. It's very sophisticated and very easy to make. It's um, a bottle of Tia Maria, which you pour into a pint glass, right? And mix in an ice cube to taste. <laughs> well, to taste Tia Maria, basically. <laughs> You've got to watch it. I had three of them last Wednesday. I, I ended up having eaten an entire tablecloth. I woke up in the morning inside the fridge. I've written a complete novel on the inside of the ice box. It's a very good novel, actually, but. I had to defrost the fridge to get my finger back, you know, and bang went the novel. <laughs> well, drip, drip went the novel, actually, you know. So I thought, no, I'll stay clear of it. I'll have an ice cream instead. That'll kill half an hour. So I went up to the woman, right? I said, I'll have an ice cream, please. And she said, oh, yeah. I said, yeah, I'll have an ice cream, please. <laughs> she said, well, you probably better go up the canteen then. I said, what do you mean? She said, this is the ladies' lavatory. <laughs> so I said, oh, right, OK, then, right. And I went up to the canteen. I went up to the woman there. It was a different woman, you know. Well, it could have been the same woman. <laughs> she would have had to run very fast up the corridor and do some pretty snappy plastic surgery, you know. I don't think she can have done that, you know. Well, I would have noticed the surgeons coming out, you know. <laughs> oh, no, I think it was a completely new woman. Well, she was about 45, but you know what I mean, anyway. Get them rhinos out of here! Pesky things! <laughs> I can't remember what I was saying now. Uh, ah, I'm losing the atmosphere. Um, uh, knock, knock. Ah, yeah. oh, you've heard it. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, this week I've been investigating them nasty little sticky things that you stick things to walls with, right? And what I've discovered is, if you eat a whole packet of them, it sticks your teeth together for four days. <laughs> so my tip of the week is, if you're going to eat a whole packet of them things before a conversation and it'll stick your teeth together for four days, then that's a really bad idea. All right, so until next week, this is Kevin Turvey, you know, just sitting here in this chair. Good night.